speak to Egan the fighter. As an amateur and a pro, I boxed some of the best heavyweights around. But not all boxers can be legit. For one reason or another, some boxers don't get a license. What follows now is previously unseen footage from a promotion put together by the governor himself, Lenny McLean, on a sunny afternoon in the East End of London in 1986. Woodford Town Football Ground, June 1986. The hardest man in Britain, the legendary Lenny McLean, the governor, is running his own promotion in an afternoon of unlicensed boxing. Why unlicensed? McLean was denied entry to legitimate licensed boxing owing to his violent reputation, his unpredictable temper and his criminal record. In the main event, Lenny is pitted against six foot seven inch Essex bin man and club bouncer, Man Mountain York. His corner man is his brother Roy York, another infamous doorman. York says that the governor has had his day. In attendance are the great and the good from London's north, south, east and west firms. Notorious villains and aspiring gangsters are here to witness the governor taking on another pretender to his throne. The MC introduces assorted faces, noted former opponents like Roy Pretty Boy Shaw and gangsters like South London's Joey Pyle. Man Mountain York is six foot seven and twenty one stone, but McLean fears no one. The governor begins to unload some of his bombs. Though it's supervised and legal, unlicensed boxing is not recognized by the boxing establishment. Rules are looser, and the head is a valuable addition to the fighter's armory. The crowd sends blood, and the mountain is toppled. Savage, brief, and unforgiving. Vanquished, Man Mountain York leaves the ring. Lenny, having survived two shootings, two stabbings and a murder charge, died of cancer in 1998.